Hey everyone.、Um, my name is Ye Wang. I'm a PhD student at ETH Zurich. So today I'm gonna to give a talk on cyclic arbitrage in decentralized exchange market. Decentralized exchanges are smart contracts deployed on blockchain systems. A traders can directly send on-chain transactions to these smart contracts to realize exchanges between different accounts. So now there are several decentralized exchanges deployed on Ethereum system. For example, like Uniswap V2 and Uniswap V1. So compared to V1, V2 allows users to create trading pools between any pair of cryptocurrencies, which introduce new arbitrage opportunities. Traders are now able to trade cryptocurrencies cyclically. A trader can exchange currency A for B, then B for C, and finally C for A again through different trading pools. So this is what we study in this work. Uh, here is an example of cyclic arbitrage happened on Uniswap V2. The trader trades 280 USDC for USDT, and then USDT for sale, and then for KB3R, and finally he got 300 USDC. And the out the output of the each swap is exactly equal to the input of the next swap. To understand the cyclic arbitrage more systematically, in this talk we would like to discuss three research questions. First, why there exist cyclic arbitrage opportunities? Second, how frequently cyclic arbitrage happens? And third, what are the revenue and the cost of the cyclic arbitrage? So we start from our first research question: Why there exist cyclic arbitrage opportunity? We take the Ether, Bitcoin, and the USDT as examples. Traders can cyclically trade Ether through two different directions, and almost surely the three floating exchange rates are not perfectly in sync, which opens up arbitrage possibility for cyclic trading. For example, if the exchange rate is larger than one, then it, we can expect a positive revenue because of the cyclic trading.、Uh, we take ten trading. Poor triangles in Uniswap V2 as examples, and compute the maximum、uh, exchange rate among these ten pools, and we find that the average arbitrage index is around 1.3, which indicating a huge amount of the cyclic arbitrage opportunities in Uniswap V2. However, the、uh, exchange rate larger than one does not mean The traders can get positive revenue from the cyclic tradings, because the decentralized exchanges also charge transaction fees from the trader. So in Uniswap V2, they will charge 0.3 percentage of the trading volume from the traders. In such case, if a trader wants a positive revenue of the cyclic transactions, the exchange rate should cover these transaction fees. In these triangle scenarios. The, only if the exchange rate is larger than 1.003 power three, then the cyclic arbitrage,、uh, cyclic transactions can result in a positive revenue. So after knowing that there are a lot of cyclic arbitrage opportunities in Uniswap V2, then we consider how frequently cyclic arbitrage really happens in the market. We find that there are already more than 280,000 cyclic arbitrage from May to January. And most of them start with the ether. Arbitrageurs play actively after the August, and the daily transactions up to four thousand in September. And now it is stable around one thousand per day. The total revenue of cyclic arbitrageurs from May to January has reached almost forty thousand ether, and the daily revenue is around one hundred ether since October. And we also consider the size of the cycles. We find that traders prefer small cycles, especially the cycle with length three. And another interesting finding is that the smaller the cycle is, the higher average revenue arbitrages may have.、Uh, we consider three main reasons may explain this phenomenon. First, as we show in previous slides. The average arbitrage index of triangles already exists 1.3, which is much larger than the requirement of the profitable cyclic arbitrages 1.003 power 3. So arbitrages can already get enough revenue from triangles.
Second, less warps are involved in triangles compared to large cycles, because the exchange rate should cover all the transaction fees. So the larger the cycle is, they have to pay more to the liquidity providers. So the last reason is because there is a latency between arbitrator submitting transactions and the execution of the transactions. So during this period, some other trades may change the exchange rate between tokens. So because the long cycles may involve with more tokens and more trading pools, the exchange rate is more likely to deviate from the expected rate. So another important research question that we look into is the cost of the cyclic arbitrators. Even though it's, there seems a lot of uh, arbitrage opportunities exist in Uniswap V2, and the smart contract technology allows the traders to cancel the transaction if the transaction results in the negative revenue. However, there are still a lot of cost of the cyclic arbitrators, and we are interested in does the revenue can cover this Cost. We first consider successful cyclic transactions. We find that more than half of transactions spend less than 0.02 Ether as a gas fee to miners, and only less than 12% of transactions spend more than 0.05 Ether to execute the transaction. And the gas fee only accounts less than one-fourth of the total revenue. Only 6.7 of cyclic app traders result in negative profits. So the gas fee is determined by the gas price times the gas consumption. We can find that to minimize the gas fee, arbitrators optimize the executing efficiency of their transactions from uh, May to January. The average gas consumption per transaction has been decreasing from 400,000 to 215,000 between May and January. Even though the smart contract allowed arbitrators to cancel the transaction if it result in a negative revenue, arbitrators still need to pay the gas fee to the miners because miners have attempted their transactions. So here we consider what is the cost of this failed transaction. We find in total there are 685 arbitrages playing cyclic arbitrages, and they have performed 442,000 transactions. The overall success rate is more than 60 percentage, and most of arbitrages, I mean more than half of them, have a success rate higher than 90 percent. And we also compute the total net profit of cyclic arbitrages, which is more than 20,000 ether while 60% of arbitrages have a positive income. Because of the time constraint, so I can only cover these three research questions in this talk. So actually, we, we also look into some other interesting problems uh, in this work. For example, how cyclic arbitrages will change the market and how the cyclic arbitrages will influence other traders in the market. And we also consider the possibility of the cyclic arbitrages across different decentralized exchanges. And if you are interested in this content, you can find it in our final version of the paper. So thanks for your attention. Thanks for your time. Is there any questions and comments?